Hello, this is Jenny A. Hansen, and you are watching at JennyAHansen.com interview series. Today we're talking with Lindsay Landry, who is an intuitive and spiritual business mentor. We're going to dive into relationships and what it takes to get started in business. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, so this is Jenny from JennyAHanson.com. Again, you can find me all over online at Jenny A. Hansen. And this is um, another interview I have for you guys for this interview series that we're doing. And so excited to have Lindsay Landry here. She's absolutely phenomenal. She's also a fellow Reiki master, which I just learned which is fantastic. I love that. But she is also a spiritual and intuitive business mentor. So she really helps you with in your business as well as all of that intuitive and spiritual stuff that comes up as well. So it's like so fascinating as these interview series and the people that I've been interviewing because like, as you know, this is what I shift into with teaching like business savvy techniques and spiritual like guided meditations. And so Lindsay is just such a perfect person with experience that can give us some really good tips and some insight for all of you. And Lindsay, um, do you just want to introduce yourself real quick and just let everyone know a little bit more about you and who you are? Definitely. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so like Jenny said, I am an intuitive and spiritual business mentor, and one of my passions is really helping people to own their gifts and integrate all of their gifts into their work because I see so many entrepreneurs, you know, compartmentalizing themselves and only showing up as part of themselves and not, you know, not including everything into their work. So really helping them to integrate all of their gifts to their work. Um, own their power and align their business with their soul so that they can manifest the clients that they're really wanting to work with and um, bring in the success that they desire. Um, yes. So. And I also, I want to let everyone know that I'm going to put all of Lindsay's information in the description box below, but you can also find her over at lindsaylander.com. And, um, it's, well, the spelling, it's L-Y-N-S-E-Y-L-A-N-D-R-Y.com. And your site is beautiful. You have such great, um, like, clarity and really good juicy stuff. And so if you are interested, I would love you guys if you just wanted to hop over on her um, email list and just, you know, see more of what she's up to and what she's doing. And if you're looking for someone to work with too, she is taking some new clients right now. Are you, are you taking, are you kind of full? You could, you could maybe take on, she's like, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually about to open the doors to a brand new eight week program. It's called integrate and align. Yes. And then I also have my, um, six month mentorship, which is embody. And it's all about fully embodying your gifts and stepping into the role of being a spiritual leader. Yeah. So I have both of those programs, but my eight week program is about to, I'm about to open the door. Is to about to, ah, see, this is yeah. so good. I love it because then we are getting like the first kind of, yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> And I kind of, I tried to do that. I wanted to really find people that were, you know, just about to bring out some new things into the world and just get in there as soon as like we could to like share with everybody. But um, if you don't mind with all of my interviews and everything I do online, I set an intention before we begin. Are you open and cool with that? If we just set a quick intention and close <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So my intention for this interview is for Lindsay and I to be able to authentically deliver a clear message to whoever who is watching and that they are able to take away a piece of information or some kind of knowledge that will help guide them in a direction to bettering and connecting to their higher self. That is my intention for today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. It is done, it is done. <laughs> so I just wanted to ask you, 
like as of now that we get into the juicy stuff is um we talked a little bit about you know you is you're helping people to integrate their gifts and to care to bring that fully into their business mm -hmm. do you find that some people maybe like edit or dilute their gifts down as they're trying to put things out into the to the world because that really stood out to me in your introduction when you said this is about getting people to just be so fully expressing their gifts and I want you know maybe people have fear around that or resistance around that definitely so I believe that we all have like a full potential or a full like a full soul potential that we could be operating at so what I see a lot of times is like we might you know we might be operating from like a place that we're really good at but it might not be that full capacity of like our zone of genius where like we're fully in the zone we're fully expressing ourselves to the most you know greatest way possible um, and I know like for me this was a huge issue um, when I started my business I was a registered dietitian and a holistic health coach and um, I was also you know really learning about energy and like that was like my passion and that was like what got me super excited but like I found it really difficult to like fully share that with my clients um, mm -hmm. And so, like, I went through that, my own, like, personal resistance as, like, showing up fully in, like, my spiritual power and, like, with all of my spiritual gifts. And um, I, it, it really, like, I really struggled in my business because of it because, like, I didn't want to, like, tell anybody what I did. I know. <laughs> we were talking about this on another interview that it's so much about because that's who like i speak to that creative you know the modern millennial entrepreneur that is just like wanting to fully you know express like their their message in this this uh, spiritual and creative way of doing it but also in a way that they can run their business effectively so i balance the spiritual part and like the business savvy part of that and um I was talking about this with another interview I did on the, it's like almost like coming out of that spiritual closet because it's been so dep it's been so oppressed for so long that it's like you just, this is how you do business and you show up and you work and you do this and that the spiritual gifts, like you don't really talk about it or share them or, you know, so that is just like, Oh, I like, I love that you're almost like giving, permission to people to, to just say, no, do it. But so what was that shifting moment for you in your well, business with it? Yeah. Well, I started my business officially in 2012, September 20, 2012. I took B school in 2014 and that was like a huge wake up call for me. I because love I was B like, school. Holy crap. Like, there's so much possibility, but I kind of went into like that frozen mode of like, you know, like trying to digest it all and figure out like, how can I do this? So yes. um, I ended up getting a bridge job. Um, and then like a year later in 2015, um, I had finally started including like Reiki in my work and started teaching Reiki classes. And um, I think it was like April 2015. And like, I was overdrafting my bank account. Me and my boyfriend were fighting because like he hated seeing me struggle like in my business. And um, I was like trying to let go of the whole dietitian thing, but like I was not fully like still owning my gifts and my power. And like, I was kind of floundering around, like who do mm -hmm. I really want to help? Like, yeah. And I knew that I wanted to help people trust their intuition and like taking action is really important for me because that's always something that like really frustrated me. Like when, you know, I do healing sessions for people and they weren't like, actively taking action to like transform their own life right so, we're just getting that like fix of like oh I feel good for the moment and you're like no but just 
be like, keep going with it. Yes. Oh, I can so relate to that frustration. (laughs) So it was really like divine intervention. Um, One of my friends, like I literally had no money. Like my, my bank account was overdrafted and I was literally like praying for a miracle one day. And I was talking to my friend and I was telling her like, I need a miracle. Like I need the universe to give me a miracle. And a butterfly flew in front of me, like in that exact moment. Uh And it was just like, holy crap. Okay. Like I'm being supported, like keep my eyes open. And, um, then like a couple days later, one of my mom's friends who was who would always text me like asking me for support and stuff she like surprise gifted me a free session with a psychic and so Mm -hmm. she was like all you have to do is contact him like he's waiting and like he's gonna do a psychic reading for you and I was like holy crap like this is perfect Mm -hmm. and so um, I actually had the session with him and he told me I was gonna have an awful year that I needed to lose my uh, leave my boyfriend and I was going to really struggle. Like it was going to be a really hard year. And I got off the phone. I was so angry. I was oh, like, no, you're like, that was the worst psychic experience ever. I was like, okay, I guess I needed to hear that. But like, this is not acceptable. Like this, I'm not accepting this. Yeah. And I saw a post in a group. Somebody was offering coaching sessions. I claimed it. It was like a free session. And she offered me like a small package. I put it on PayPal credit because my credit card was maxed out. I had no money, put it on mm-hmm. PayPal credit. And within six weeks, I like had my first $7,000 a month. And I mean, yeah. I was like, okay, so this is possible. Like wow. when you align to your soul, like when you get into alignment, when you let yourself move forward, then like literally like magic happens you know like I didn't have a big list I maybe had 150 people on my list it's not Mm -hmm. like I had a big list um I didn't really have a Facebook group at the time so it was really just like divine yeah like because you were in your like you said your zone of genius which makes so much sense as to why you're you're like okay I need to to share this with people and show them that that is like you said when the magic happens is when you fully go into your gifts like that and I that's just that's amazing and was this like did you do this um were you doing groups or workshops or was this all online was this digital program like a digital program you put together like is your it was I still had my one-on-one business at the time. Um, So I sold out some three-month packages. Mm -hmm. And then I also filled up like a Reiki class. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah. That's amazing. And, I mean, I'm not counting, like, I know, like, some coaches, like, say, like, oh, I sold one package, so I made $7,000 today. Like, I'm not talking about that. Like, I'm talking, like. You know, I still had that client, those clients for three months. So it was like, yeah, for three months. So um, good. Yeah. And so like, I think one of my biggest turning points is like, you know, I was like, literally when I was in that moment of like feeling so low and so depressed, like I really realized my pain wasn't about the money. It was about not using my gifts because mm-hmm. I knew that as soon as I like, spoke with people when I had the opportunity to help people and to serve like I felt amazing like so it's like you were energized in that instead of just drained it was like something that fueled you yeah so yeah it, it was like really realizing like you know this pain this like feeling like things are not working or like this struggle like it wasn't about like the universe not working with me. It was about me being afraid, you know? And as soon as like I gave myself permission to see like there are people like that are in the same place that I'm in, in this moment that mm-hmm. I could be serving. I yeah. could be helping them get out of this. So like, yeah. I just need to get out of my own way so that I can serve them. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. I, um, I also, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, because I know we were talking about this earlier, 
And when you're working with people, um, I know that you will do a lot of work in like actually preparing them mm -hmm. for that journey. So let's say they, they have clarity and maybe they're honed in on their gifts or, or maybe they're not. Do you think that we kind of all innately deep down in our souls know like what we want to be doing? I do. I do. I think it's more about like, you know, I think the thing that I always say is like deep down, we all want to be seen. We all want space to be able to like step into that, our full potential or just like to space to like be wherever we are. And yes. then we all want to be loved. So it's like when we can have an energetic container where we can feel that, then it lets us like, it's not even, you know, I do give my clients a lot of tangible action steps and I do help them with like the actual, like creating offers and like aligning the words because I feel like words have such a strong energy too. Like if we're, you know, using words in our message or using words in our offer that, um, that can totally affect like who we're going to attract to work with us. Mm -hmm. Um, so I really work with my clients on that too. But like, I think before that it is about like having that safe container to like be able to be that full expression of yourself. Yes. Because, because like when we can allow ourselves to feel whatever it is, whether it's the, you know, whether it is the fear, whether it is the anger, whether it is the, um, all of the emotions, like I feel like that's all part of our fullness. And I'm sure like, you know, as you work with a lot of like creatives, like those, those emotions are like part of our creative energy. It's like our expression. So, yes. you know, like if we're not giving ourselves to like be our full selves, cause we're like, Oh, I can't be angry or, Oh, I shouldn't do that. Then like, we're not giving ourselves the full permission to like have all of our creative energy and all of yes. our creative juices. Right. And so much comes out of that. And there's ways to, to really take in and shift maybe what your program just like feeling these negative emotions, but to, to use that as insight or use that as fuel or use that as energy or excitement or whatever that is to just help you on your journey even farther. Because I will tell you, I know when I was starting my product based company, create beverages, that was, I had a lot of people sitting there telling me, Oh, it's a great idea, but like it's cheaper if you do it this way and you know, and it, blah, 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 blah. And like, they wanted to take all these pieces out of it that was making it what it was. And, um, I even had one woman say, Oh yeah, the, um, the I am on it is disrespectful because that's like in the, the, the Bible is like, you know, where God says I am all, like all that I am or Christ or something. And I just thought, wow, like that's your programming. No, because we are, you know, the I am's are so important. And I'm like, no, you need to be, this is all about self positive self talk and reprogramming your mind. But I had people that would insert their opinion and tell me all these things about, Oh, maybe it should be this or it was wrong because it was their stuff. And it's like, I had to fight to keep it so emotionally and integrally like raw and real with what I knew I had to bring into the world. And so that's partly why now I'm like, okay, now this is where I'm at, where it's that I can teach other entrepreneurs that if they have something deep in their soul, that they can make it work and make it thrive and be successful in their unique way. And, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that stuff will just get in your head and like throw around. But if you're not, if you're not centered within yourself and you're not in a good place within yourself, those are the kind of things that will stop and prevent you from moving forward. And I, and I know that you work with actually preparing people and getting them in a good place energetically to even move forward. So like, let's say they, they, they've identified what their message is. They've identified what their work is in the world. And maybe now they want to start going into it, but I know that you actually help them 
prepare for that a little bit. So what, can you kind of speak to that a little bit on, on getting yourself mentally and, and energetically ready to start and move forward in, in your business? Definitely. So, um, one thing that I like to say, and like, I kind of learned this the hard way through my own business is there's so many people like in the online world and they're charging outrageous prices or like they're saying like, you can go from not offering anything to like having a $10,000 package. Like it's really important to be like in integrity within your own system because a lot of times, um, like, I remember one of the coaches that I worked with, like, she actually brought me through this meditation and, like, she asked me to visualize, like, what the price was that, like, the, the value and the energy of, like, the package that I was supposed to create. And, like, I saw it, but, like, I was so, like, like, it wouldn't have necessarily been, like, that great of an idea for me to just jump to that because, like on one level, yes, my energy wanted to be there, but like on another level, like I wasn't fully aligned to that. Like emotionally, like I was having a really hard time like digesting it. So mm -hmm. what I like to do with my clients is like figure out a system. And I mean, you know, we're always tweaking it because it's like we're growing. So mm -hmm. but like figure out processes and steps that like we can almost like prepare their system. So you know, if you've never offered anything online, like a class or a program, it might be doing like so many things like having interviews like this, or, <laughs> you know, doing like some free classes, but like we figure out things that like, can give the person um, opportunities to like expand their energy. Mm. So they can start holding more confidence and they can start. Oh, Oh, sorry. You froze. Yeah, froze for a second. So they can start holding that energy and, and building their confidence is what you were saying. Yeah. And like even expanding to be able to hold a larger amount of energy. Um, I was, I was doing, I was participating in like a challenge this week. And like one of the things that she said, which it was like, Oh, I never thought about it that way, but this makes total sense. Um, it was a manifesting challenge. And we were talking about like, high vibrational energy and like manifesting. And okay. what happens for a lot of people is like we get this excitement, we get this high wave of energy, like you get the idea, you realize like, oh my God, I want to do that. This will be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, like you set your intentions of like, I want to bring in X, Y, Z amount of money or whatever. So like that vibration if your system isn't used to it, it's almost like when you go on a cleanse or like if you eat a whole bunch of vegetables or like, you know, vegetable juice and fruit juice yeah. and then it's like you get a headache or you get like diarrhea because like you were you're, ready. Yeah. Because your body can't absorb it and can't like receive it. Well, like when we're talking about success, our system is a lot of the same way. Yeah. If, if we're like trying to go from like making $25 a month or something, I'm just using that as an example, right. to like trying to get $10,000 a month, it's like your system has to prepare mm. to be able to hold that or even like working with, you know, clients. Like I remember whenever I ended up filling up my program and I was working with like almost 10 clients, like I literally had to like, adjust to that energy, you know, like from going from like not seeing clients to working, like having that much energy in my, Oh yes. That would be so difficult. You know, like, this is yeah. things that not everybody talks about, but it's like mm -hmm. so important to realize like, so then you might start feeling emotional. You might get irritable, like stuff might come up because like you're stretching your system. Yes. Yeah. Or even feeling just completely drained and exhausted and, and then that resistance comes up and then you think, Oh, I can't do this. And right. If you really, you can, it's just, you are maybe just trying to do too much too quickly. Yeah. Like lifting weights. It's like, you're not going to like not yeah. work out and then try to like lift a hundred pounds or something. Right. Exactly. You have to like exactly. build yourself up to that. <laughs> 
Exactly. And there's so many changes because I'm all about like being such a very like authentic and vulnerable raw entrepreneur and showing people this is what it really looks like behind the scenes, the day to day, figuring out yourself and doing this and, and how to do this. And, and like this whole interview series stemmed from me realizing like, no, if you want to build your reach out there, then you need to start collaborating with people that you admire and that are doing it better than you. So start collaborating. And so then I'm like, okay, we'll do this interview series, you know, and then now that's turned into like this summit we're going to be doing in July. You heard it here first, but we'll like, make sure you're on our list so that we can, so you don't miss that because that's going to be so fun. But, um, but there, but it's like people do not talk about all the changes that happen. And this is why I think just meditation is so important. And so I'm building right now a whole meditation library over on the site and people you can, and I haven't announced this to my list yet. So I'm, I'm not going to say like my secret just yet, but if you're on my list, you're going to get that email tonight. If you're not, you're going to have to wait a couple of days. But um, what we're doing with the site, I'm really excited about. And Lindsay knows because I told her <laughs> before I did it. But <laughs> probably by the time you watch this, you'll know what it is. But anyway, so um, some, you know, business savvy and then this library and, and meditation library. But why I feel like that is so important as an entrepreneur is that now it's time, like people, it's like, it's okay to give this voice. It's okay to say, you need to take care of your spiritual body. You need to take care of your energetic body. Just as much as you take care of your mental, your mind mm -hmm. and your physical this needs to be taken care of and nurtured as well. And one thing that I've noticed with throughout the journey through business is the changes in relationships that happen. Mm. And if you're not in a good place within yourself, those can really rattle you and stop you and prevent you from moving forward. And with Lindsay and me wanting to interview her specifically for, for you, for all of you that are watching is because she understands this too. And we do not want somebody that has this burning desire of their message and what they want to do in the world to run into these resistances and these problems that do come up as an entrepreneur and to think that it's not going to work and then not do it. Because that is like heartbreaking to me when I see that happen because there are ways to do it. So I think it would be awesome if we could talk about through the journey in, in someone's journey of being an entrepreneur, a mentor or a coach or starting a product line or what, or even just a blog, whatever that looks like to you that knowing that there are going to be challenges that come up and one of those are relationships around you. And so can you talk a little bit about that and how to maybe manage that shift, but still continue with your, your journey and what you're doing in your Definitely. business? Okay. Definitely. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, like, is this clear? Okay. <laughs> So like, as I was sharing in my story, like about, you know, you asked me about the turning point. And so me and my boyfriend were like, literally like about to break up. Like I was at the point of like, I needed to figure out a way to make my business work because, so that I can leave. Because oh, isn't that so good? We're getting into some juicy stuff with Lindsay. So make sure you go to her site and check her out at lindsaylandry.com. Also join her Facebook group, Soul Inspired Success. You are watching Jenny A. Hansen interview series. Part two is in the next video and I will see you there.